Cape Saunian is a promontory located 69 km south-southeast of Athens, at the southernmost tip of the Attica Peninsula in Greece. Cape Saunian is noted as the site of ruins of an ancient Greek temple of Poseidon, the god of the sea in classical mythology. The remains are perched on a headland, surrounded on three sides by the sea. The ruins bear the deeply engraved name of English Romantic poet Lord Byron. The site is a popular day excursion for tourists from Athens, with the sunset over the Aegean Sea, as viewed from the ruins, a sought-after spectacle. Legend According to Greek mythology, Cape Saunian is the spot where Aegeus, king of Athens, leapt to his death off the cliff, thus giving his name to the Aegean Sea. The story goes that Aegeus, anxiously looking out from Saunian, despaired when he saw a black sail on his son Theseus's ship, returning from Crete. This led him to believe that his son had been killed in his contest with the dreaded Minotaur, a monster that was half man and half bull. The Minotaur was confined by its owner, King Minos of Crete, in a specially designed labyrinth. Every year, according to the myth, the Athenians were forced to send seven men and seven women to Minos as tribute. These youths were placed in the labyrinth to be devoured by the Minotaur. Theseus had volunteered to go with the third tribute and attempt to slay the beast. He had agreed with his father that if he survived the contest, he would hoist a white sail on his return. In fact, Theseus had successfully overcome and slain the Minotaur, but tragically had simply forgotten about the white sail. The earliest literary reference to Saunian is in Homer's poem The Odyssey, probably composed in the 8th century BC. This recounts the mythical tribulations suffered by Greek hero Odysseus in a grueling ten-year sea voyage to return to his native island, Ithaca, in the Ionian Sea, from the sack of Troy. This ordeal was supposedly inflicted upon him by Poseidon, to whom the temple at Saunian was dedicated. We are told that, as the various Greek commanders sailed back from Troy, the helmsman of the ship of King Menelaus of Sparta died at his post while rounding Holy Saunian, Cape of Athens. Menelaus landed at Saunian to give his companion full funeral honors. The Greek ships were then caught by a storm off Cape Malia and scattered in all directions. History Archaeological finds on the site date from as early as 700 BC. The 5th century BC historian Herodotus tells us that in the 6th century BC, the Athenians celebrated a quadrennial festival at Saunian, which involved Athens leaders sailing to the Cape in a sacred boat. The original, archaic period Temple of Poseidon on the site, which was built of tufa, was probably destroyed in 480 BC by Persian troops during Xerxes' I's invasion of Greece. Although there is no direct evidence for Samian, Xerxes certainly had the Temple of Athena, and everything else on the Acropolis of Athens, raised as punishment for the Athenians' defiance. After they defeated Xerxes in the naval battle of Salamis, the Athenians placed an entire captured enemy trireme at Samian as a trophy dedicated to Poseidon. The later temple at Samian, whose columns still stand today, was probably built in circa 440 BC. This was during the ascendancy of the Athenian statesman Pericles, who also rebuilt the Parthenon in Athens. In 413 BC, during the Peloponnesian War against the Spartans, the Athenians fortified the site with a wall and towers to prevent it from falling into Spartan hands. This would have threatened Athens' seaborne grain supply route from Euboea. Athens' supply situation had become critical since the city's land supply lines had been cut by the Spartan fortification of Dekelia, in North Attica. However, not long after, the Saunian fortress was seized from the Athenians by a force of rebel slaves from the nearby silver mines of Laurium. Temple of Poseidon, coordinates, 37.650407 a degree n 24.024776 a degree a slash 37.650407 24.024776 Ancient Greek religion was essentially propitiatory in nature, that is, based on the notion that to avoid misfortune, one must constantly seek the favor of the relevant gods by prayers, gifts and sacrifices. To the ancient Greek, every natural feature, for example hill, lake, stream or wood, was controlled by a god. A person about to swim in a river, for example, would say a prayer to the river god, 
or make an offering to that god's shrine, to avoid the chance of drowning. The gods were considered immortal and could change shape, become invisible and travel anywhere instantaneously. But in many other respects they were considered similar to humans. They shared the whole range of human emotions, both positive and negative. Thus, in their attitudes towards humans, they could be both benevolent and malicious. Also like humans, they had family and clan hierarchies. They could even mate with humans, and produce demigods. In a maritime country like Greece, the god of the sea occupied a high position in the divine hierarchy. In power, Poseidon was considered second only to Zeus, the supreme god himself. His implacable wrath, manifested in the form of storms, was greatly feared by all mariners. In an age without mechanical power, storms very frequently resulted in shipwrecks and drownings. The temple at Cape Samian, Attica, therefore, was a venue where mariners, and also entire cities or states, could propitiate Poseidon by making animal sacrifice or leaving gifts. The Temple of Poseidon was constructed in 444 a Euro 440 BC, over the ruins of a temple dating from the Archaic period. It is perched above the sea at a height of almost 60 meters. The design of the temple is a typical Hexa style, that is, it had a front portico with six columns. Only some columns of the Saunian temple stand today, but when intact it would have closely resembled the contemporary and well-preserved temple of Hephaestus beneath the Acropolis, which may have been designed by the same architect. As with all Greek temples, the Poseidon building was rectangular, with a colonnade on all four sides. The total number of original columns was 34, 15 columns still stand today. The columns are of the Doric order. They were made of locally quarried white marble. They were 6.10 m high, with a diameter of 1 m at the base and 79 cm at the top. At the center of the temple colonnade would have been the Hall of Worship, a windowless rectangular room, similar to the partly intact hall at the Temple of Hephaestus. It would have contained, at one end facing the entrance, the cult image, a colossal, ceiling height, bronze statue of Poseidon. Probably covered in gold leaf, it may have resembled a contemporary representation of the god, appropriately found in a shipwreck, shown in the figure above. Poseidon was usually portrayed carrying a trident, the weapon he supposedly used to stir up storms. On the longest day of the year, the sun sets exactly in the middle of the caldera of the island of Patroclon, the extinct volcano that lies offshore, suggesting astrological significance for the sighting of the temple. The Temple of Poseidon was destroyed in 399 by Emperor Arcadius. Archaeological excavation of the site in 1906 uncovered numerous artifacts and inscriptions, most notably a marble Koro statue known as the Saunian Koros and an impressive votive relief, both now in the Athens National Archaeological Museum. A column from the temple can be seen in the British Museum. Byron Inscription the inscribed name of the famous Romantic poet George Lord Byron, carved into the base of one of the columns of the Temple of Poseidon, possibly dates from his first visit to Greece, on his grand tour of Europe before he acquired fame. Byron spent several months in 1810 Euro 11 in Athens, including two documented visits to Saunian. There is, however, no direct evidence that the inscription was made by Byron himself. Byron mentions Saunian in his poem Isles of Greece. Place me on Saunian's marbled steep, where nothing, save the waves and I, may hear our mutual murmurs sweep. Heidegger's visit, the philosopher Martin Heidegger visited Saunian during his journey to Greece in 1962, as described in his book Sojourns. He refers to the gleaming white ruins of the temple. In the strong sea breeze these few standing columns were the strings of an invisible lyre the song of which the far-seeing Delian god let resonate over the Cycladic world of islands. He marvels at the way that the single gesture of the land suggests the invisible nearness of the divine and dedicates to it every growth and every human work. He goes on to reflect the people of this country knew how to inhabit and demarcate the world against the barbarous in honor of the seat of the gods. They knew how to praise what is great and by acknowledging it, to bring themselves in front of the sublime, founding, in this way, a world. Saunian today, 
Apart from its world-renowned archaeological site, Saunian is also an upscale summer home location for Athenians. Construction flourished between the 1960s and 1970s, with massive yet minimal villas and condos erected. Saunian is one of the most expensive areas in Greece, with the value of some homes exceeding 20 million euros. Notes References The following are reference sources, in alpha and order, Athens National Archaeological Museum, Items New Mexico, 2720 and New Mexico, 3344. Lord Byron, Don Juan, 1818 Euro 1819. W. Burkert, Greek Religion. Herodotus, Histories, Volumes 6 and 8, The History of Herodotus, 440 BC, webpage, Fordham H.H. Homer, Odyssey, Volume 3 and 9. Ovid, Metamorphoses, 2 Euro 8 AD 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica, Article Sunium, 1911. Perseus Digital Library at www.perseustufts.edu, Plutarch, Theseus in Parallel Lives, 75 AD. Romantic Circles, The Byron Chronology, Webpage, RCUMD. Thucydides, Peloponnesian War, Volume 7 and 8, 431 BC, Webpage, MIT Thuke. External Links, 360 Panorama from Temple of Poseidon, Saunian 3D.